Welcome back. In this video, we shall set up JavaScript in our HTML file. And the way to do that is by creating a folder with the name JS in your parents folder. In this case, my parents folder is called JavaScript. Here is my folder on my desktop. You can call it whatever you want to call it. Here I have my CSS subfolder. I have my IMG subfolder for my image files and I have my index.html file. So let's head back to VS Code and let's create a folder called JS. To create a folder, you come over here, click on this icon that says new folder and let's say JS. In my JS subfolder, I will create my index.js file, my JavaScript file. To do that, let's right click on the folder, select new file. Let's give it a name called index.js. With this, I have created my JavaScript file. Before we jump into the next video, let's link our JavaScript file with our HTML file. Same way we have to link our CSS file with our HTML file so that anything we do in our CSS file will affect our HTML file. That's just the same logic here. Any code written in our JavaScript file will be affected in our index.html file. So to link our JavaScript file with our HTML file, let's come over to our index.html file. First, let's generate a boilerplate. Let's change the title here to JavaScript, not have a script. JavaScript, let's save that. Let's create a h5 heading tag. Let's say, welcome to my course on JS. Now let's save that. This is our HTML file, but our JavaScript file is not linked to our HTML file. So to link our JavaScript file with our HTML file, you come over here in the head tag, you say scripts, and you come over here, set a source attributes to the JS folder and the index.js file. With this line here, you have successfully linked our index.js file with our HTML file. So anything we write inside here in our index.js file will have an effect on our HTML file. So let's save that. Let's run our browser to see what we have. Come over here, select open with and Google Chrome. As you can see, we have welcome to my course on JS right here. And that's our H5 tag. Now let's head over to our index.js file and let's log something on our console. Before we do that, let's head over to the console on our browser. And to locate the console on your browser, right click on the browser, select inspect. And select console right here. As you can see currently on our console, we have nothing. To log something here on our console, we are going to use JavaScript to do that. And to do that, let's come over here, head to our JavaScript file, and let's say console.log, let's say this is our JS course, relax and enjoy. And you end every line in JavaScript with a semicolon, although it's not mandatory anymore but it's always standard to do that. Now let's save that. Let's close the console. Let's reload our page. Now let's head back to the console and see what we have. As you can see in our console, we have, this is our JS course, relax and enjoy. And that's possible because we linked our index.js file with our index.html file. So that's as simple as that. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to share.